Farah, there have been rumblings of discontent with Premier Kenny for months now. Last spring, a website was launched by grassroots members called Kenny Must Go. It started collecting signatures, calling for just that. Two MLAs were also kicked out of caucus in the spring for publicly speaking out against the Premier, one of them directly calling for his resignation. Now, Premier Kenny had hoped his open for summer plan, open for good plan, would quiet down that discontent, and it did for a number of weeks. But with the fourth wave of COVID-19 hitting Alberta so hard, the discontent has come back to the forefront. I've been told by a constituency association president that motions for a leadership review are being discussed in constituency associations right across the province. His association has passed when he says their concerns come from top-down leadership style, not listening to the grassroots. Oh, and that infamous meal on top of the Sky Palace patio, breaking rules with fellow cabinet ministers. A level of entitlement that my constituency association could not stand. Uh, even some of our board members who were um, not as critical of Premier Kenny up to that point, from that point on, absolutely felt as if that was the final straw. Now, Tom, this all comes while Alberta's health system is really at the breaking point. I mean, the province is asking for help from other parts of Canada. Even today, Alberta frontline staff protested, demanding improvements to the province's health care system. So what are the doctors and nurses they're saying, Tom? Well, they're saying it should not have gotten to this point. They've been calling for weeks for a vaccine passport type system. Premier Kenny had been resisting that call for weeks, but finally relented this week due to the rising cases in the ICU. We're also suffering through a severe staff shortage for healthcare workers here in the province, nurses, doctors. They're even looking at contracting private ones from outside the province. Now, there are contract negotiations ongoing between the government and nurses as well, not helping in this. They are tense. The government was seeking a wage rollback. We could see a strike vote in a matter of weeks. Farah? Tom Vernon in Edmonton. Thank you, Tom.